Hey guys, Miss Nikki back with Library Lobsters. This is Dancing Hearts, and then there's like a little cool off volcano thing that we're gonna do. So I went ahead and opened up all these and pour some hearts in the jar. So now we've got two. We're gonna use Sprite, but you can try all different kinds. Try 7-Up or try like a diet soda. You can try like a root beer or something. We're just gonna pour it in here and see what happens? See the magic or the science. Are they doing anything? Let's find out. All right. Oh, I think they are definitely dancing around in there. That's so cool. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. All right, we're gonna let them sizzle for a little bit. All right, so next is the cool off volcano. So, the experiment said to put a golf ball in a bowl, put the plastic wrap over top of it, so some of it's kind of laying off to the side, and then uh, mix like baking soda and water. I think it's like two thirds and one thirds mix, and then pour it on top and then freeze it. So it's very interesting, very kind of hard to do. So this was my first attempt. It's kind of flat. I don't know what happened. But this one we got a little bit of a hole there, so it says to just use a pipette. So we'll see. We'll just put it down in there in the bottom. I don't think it's doing it enough. It's kind of bubbling. Not as much as it should though. Maybe if I just pour the bowl on there. <laughs> yep, we're just gonna pour it on there. See how much of a mess I can make. Oh, it's kind of working. This is almost like our little sizzling snowman that we did. All right, all right, we're gonna let him sizzle for a little bit. We'll try a little bit on the flat one. Flat, flat volcano. Ooh, he kind of worked better. Maybe I had more baking soda in the, this one. You never can tell. That's what happens when you're using, you know, doing experiments and things. All right guys, so that's pretty much it. We're gonna read a little bit of a book now. All right guys, since we were doing the experiment with dancing hearts, I thought I'd read a little bit of Alice's Adventures of Wonderland and Wonderland because of course, you know, Queen of Hearts is in there. So this is Lewis Carroll. This looks like it's a fairly old book. So sometimes those are really neat to go back and read. All right, down the rabbit hole. Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what is the use of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversation? So she was considering in her own mind, as well as she could, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid, whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies, when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. There was nothing so very remarkable in that, nor did Alice think it so very much out of the way, to hear the rabbit say to himself, Oh dear, oh dear, I shall be too late. When she thought it over afterwards, it occurred to her that she thought to have wondered at this, but at the time it all seemed quite natural. But when the rabbit actually took a watch out of its waistcoat pocket and looked at it and then hurried on, Alice started to her feet, for it flashed across her mind that she had never before seen a rabbit with either a waistcoat pocket or a watch to take out of it. And burning with curiosity, she ran across the field after it and was just in time to see it pop down a large rabbit hole under the hedge. In another moment, Alice, or another moment down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. The rabbit hole went straight on like a tunnel for some way and then dipped suddenly down so, out, so suddenly that Alice had not a moment to think about stopping herself before she found herself falling down what seemed to be a very deep well. Either the well was very deep or she fell very slowly before she had plenty of time as she went down to look about her and to wonder what was going to happen next. All right. Well, I'm sure you guys have probably watched the movie or read a little bit of this before, but you should definitely come in and check it out and see for yourself. Thanks.